Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. Today, we are doing a restoration job on an iconic video game vehicle that most of you guys are probably going to recognize right off the bat. Uh, but this is the one we are doing today, guys. We are doing the M12 Warthog from Halo. Uh, this was actually requested by a viewer a long time ago, if I remember correctly, and I just really didn't get around to doing it until now. So that's what we're doing today, guys. We're going to be restoring this bad boy. And we're going to take it to the off-road track, obviously, and we're going to test it out. Uh, one thing that I completely forgot to do that I actually have to go do real quick is I have to go uh, enable unrealistic tire sizes because I didn't do that. So let me go do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. We have unrealistic wheel sizes enabled, tire sizes, whatever. So what we're going to do now is we got to get this thing on the car lift. Uh, for obvious reasons, this thing is not going to be legit at all on the car lift. Actually, it fits pretty well. I'm not going to lie. Um... Because this is a mod car, there's going to be stuff that is not in its correct uh, position. It's going to look really weird. It's probably going to look unrealistic, obviously. Uh, but we're going to work with it today. So, oh, that is cool. We got the logo there. UNSC. All right, so uh, let's see what kind of engine we have in this thing. We have a V8 dual overhead cam supercharged. Factory horsepower. It's producing 1,000 horsepower, obviously. It's going to produce 1,000 horsepower. Uh, we're going to put some performance engine parts in this thing, I think. So, we got two air filters. <laughs> Two batteries. How many? Ba we got four batteries. I thought we had two. We got four batteries. Let's go ahead and get the engine bay done. We have four batteries to work with today and a bunch of uh, air filters. That is sweet. Oh, this is probably going to be my favorite mod car to work on so far. So let's. We got to charge all four batteries up. So we're just going to go ahead and sit here and charge all four of them up real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Oh, no, we don't want to put a fully charged battery on the charger. So yeah, we're going to try to keep the wheels and tire sizes the same. I really don't want to have to worry about changing those up at all. Uh, but everything else, like the engine, we're going to put a performance engine in it. Transmission, uh, probably just put a factory gearbox in. All that good stuff. Uh, paint, we're going to probably paint it as close to the original color as we can. Uh, I really don't know the color code for it, so we'll just we'll see what we have, uh, what options we have for the paint when we get there. But uh, another thing I need to do is I need to, to clean the rust off this thing and clean the interior. Can we actually remove? Well, there's the trunk. I was going to say, is there any exterior parts we can actually remove on this thing? Uh, cooling. We can't remove anything off that. Okay, well, I think that's everything we can remove other than interior. So let's go come over here and work with the interior. Got to go to interior disassemble. Uh, we do have... Okay, we do have a steering wheel. Good, okay. Well, I think that's all the exterior and interior we can do. So let's go ahead and get our detail kit and our welder over to the vehicle. And let's see how this thing looks when it's cleaned up. Go and work with the interior kit first here. And then the welder. Nice black. I think we're going to keep it this color. It looks pretty sharp. If they have like a texture or a livery that matches that of Halo, I'll use it. But probably keep it black. Or maybe we'll go green. <clears throat> Not really sure at this point. All right. So, uh, I believe... Did we get all the batteries done? I believe we got all the batteries done. Okay. Let's get the engine bay completely finished. Um, we have, obviously, four freaking batteries. That is insane. Well, with all the future technology, it's not surprising. Uh, let me go ahead and see what we can repair from the bay. I think we can repair some stuff. Take that back. All we managed to repair was the, uh, the front bumper. So we have to replace all the air filter stuff. I'm going to go and sell all this. Uh, we'll buy everything back. Uh, but we're going to have to replace... Uh, well, everything we just did. So, if we go to the shop here, we're going to need two air filters. If we're going to do performance stuff, we need to go to the performance shop. But let me go ahead and get uh, the air filter housing components and stuff like that real quick. I'm going to need two covers. Uh, I probably passed the base. Air filter cover. Yeah, I passed it. It's going to be right here. And then we need double the clips. We need eight clip A's. And then let's go to the performance shop here and pick up some performance air filters. Let's see how much horsepower we can gain with this thing. 
I don't know if I'll go all out on performance parts in the engine, but most of the engine components will be performance. This thing is a tactical military vehicle. It needs to have some good performance parts in it. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Let's see if we can get these clips. Hopefully we can. I don't know if I'll be able to get that other clip over there. Uh, we'll find out here in just a second as soon as I rotate around. Okay, good. We can. Crisis averted. Alright, so that is it for that part. We got the radiator A. We're probably going to have to have a fan as well. Uh, do we have performance radiators? No, we don't. And it's going to be housing B, so we're going to need uh, housing B and the housing fans. Okay, I believe that is everything for the engine bay. Do we have any ABS or anything of that nature in here? I don't think we do. I do not see it. Let me move around here a little bit. Uh, no, we do not have any ABS or anything like that. So that is going to be it for that part. Let's go ahead and get the engine out and on the stand. Uh, this is going to be extremely interesting to do. I'm thinking we have to remove the drive shaft. There is a drive shaft, right? Yes, good. There is a drive shaft. Uh, it's a very completely, like I said, uh, jank setup because it's a mod car. So it's going to look really weird. But, uh, get this engine out. Holy cow, three fuel tanks. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, this car is insane. This is going to be fun. Can't wait to get this on the off-road track. I'm going to go ahead and take the drive shaft off. There's no manifolds, uh, exhaust manifolds to pull off, so we'll just go ahead and pull this engine out as is. Let's drop this thing down here. It's practically on the ground <laughs> with the, the lift at its second lowest level. That's insanely awesome. All right, we got the... Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't want to build an engine. I want to... Add engine to the crate. There we go. Okay, so there's our engine that is going to need some work. So let's go ahead and get that done right now. I'm going to go ahead and knock the engine out right off the bat. Normally, we save the engine until after the suspension, but so we're going to change it up today. We're going to get the engine done. No, oh, son of a gun. Come on. Engine stand. I just want to access the engine stand. That's all I want to do. Uh, looks like we don't have any connecting rod caps or any uh, main bearings in here. So this, come on game, this uh, crankshaft should come right out as soon as we get this uh, flywheel and clutch assembly out. Or excuse me, we got to get the pistons out too, I forgot. But the crankshaft should come right out as soon as we get these pistons out. There we go, beautiful. And then we got to get the block. So, as of right now, most of our components are uh, repairable. Just kidding, not all of them are repairable. The block just completely got a dump taken on it right there. So, we're going to need a new block. Let's see, where's our engine? Let's go ahead and sell parts that are under 100%. <clears throat> yep, so we're going to need new block. Pretty much everything for this engine is going to need to be purchased. So, um, let's go ahead and get a block in there. Block V8. Let's drop our crank in because we can put that in right off the bat. Um, next, we're going to do performance alternator and power steering pump. So let's go to our performance shop. Let's uh, let's go and see what we can, what I know for a fact we're going to need and I'll buy it real quick. I know we're going to need an alternator. I know we're going to need... I believe we're gonna just gonna need regular camshafts. Is there a V8 camshaft? Okay, let's see what cams we need real quick here. Uh, it's gonna be overhead cams, so we're gonna need V8 cams. So let's go ahead and buy two V8 cams. And since it's a dual overhead cam, we're gonna need four of them. So we're gonna need to buy four camshafts. Uh, we're gonna need a clutch plate, clutch pressure plate. Uh, we're gonna need V8 heads. So we'll go ahead and pick those up if I can find them. BV12, V8. I passed it, didn't I? Yeah, I passed it. I don't know. Dang, where is this V8 engine head? Right there. Holy cow. Need two of those. 
Gonna need exhaust manifolds for a V8 times two. Flywheel. We're gonna need a fuel filter. How many fuel pumps are we gonna need for that vehicle? That's the real question we need to be asking here. <laughs> Probably gonna need like three or four of them, I'm gonna guess. Um, so let's go ahead and just put what we have now. I'll get more later. I don't want to sit there scrolling through. I forgot to buy the power steering pump. Let's go ahead and get that. Just type in power. So let's see if we can shoot for uh, 1300 horsepower. That seems to be a fairly uh, realistic goal. Let's get this clutch assembly put on. And then we're going to have to go get the main bearing caps and pistons and all that good stuff, which we can go to the shop, the uh, performance shop, and get there as well. So, uh, let's go to the main shop. Let's grab our rings. Eight. Uh, we're going to need main bearing caps times three. And then rod caps we're going to need times eight. And then let's also grab an oil pan and an oil filter while we're here. So, we don't have to worry about that. V8 oil filter. Now we can go to the performance shop and we can pick up the pistons. 1% power increase per piston, or 1.13. I'm not going to do the math, but it's roughly, I'd say, what, 9%, give or take. Plus or minus 1. Just drop all these in here. I feel like I'm missing one. Did I get, did I get all of them? Cool, I got all of them. All right, sweet. Uh, let's get these rod caps on. And our main bearing caps as well. And just a couple more components, and this lower end is done. Get the oil pan bolted in, and then the oil filter, and then we are going to flip this bad boy over and start working on the uh, upper engine. I got to get where this engine stand lets me work with it. Get the heads done. I was looking at the pistons. To see if uh, cylinder one was top dead center, but it's not. That would be a really cool thing if they would add to have cylinder one be top dead center. Realistically, you'd want to have your cylinder one top dead center. That's where all of your timing comes into play. Okay, let's get the uh, headers put on. And then we're going to have to go to the shop, pick up some more parts. Okay, so, uh, did I buy a fuel filter? I did. Look at that. Alright, um, we're gonna have to get some cam gears. So let's go buy the cam gears. Also, I'm gonna pick up an intake manifold. Do we have a, uh, performance intake for this vehicle? I don't think they added a V8, uh, performance intake. I could be wrong, though. I believe that's the one thing they needed to add was a, just a generic V8 intake. Uh, no, they have not added a generic V8 intake manifold. Okay, so yeah, we got to go with a, a regular one. That's unfortunate. What about a supercharger? Uh, nope, you have got to be a default supercharger. So, intake. Intake manifold V8. We're also going to, oh, I need a supercharger manifold. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to need a supercharger, obviously. It's going to be a V8 supercharger. Probably going to need a supercharger serpentine belt. We well, bought the wrong intake. That's all right. We'll sell it off. Make a little bit of money. Let's throw that supercharger in now. Bolt it down. All right. We need DI fuel rails. Cam gears. All that good stuff. So let's go ahead and pick up uh, the fuel rails here. 
Uh, we're doing performance fuel rest. Let's come over here and do it. For real DI times two. We're going to need spark plugs, ignition coils, and all that good stuff. So we'll go ahead and pick those up right now. And we'll grab the cam gears uh, just a second. Let's go ahead and drop these spark plugs in. Easier to do it before the valve covers go on. Whoops. Okay, uh, cam gears. We need times four. They're just generic cam gears. And I know for a fact we don't have performance cam gears. I know we're going to need a timing cover. Let me go ahead and pick up as many timing components as I can think of. I think it's going to be timing belt V8. We're going to need times two. Uh, we're going to need a timing cover for the V8. Which is, these are all out of whack. These are all completely out of whack. Um, we're going to need some idler pulleys. We're going to need, I believe, two idler A's, five B's. And we're going to need a belt tensioner. And then, of course, we're going to need some more... Uh, Belts, but I believe that's what we need for now. Oh, we need a uh, harmonic dampener or harmonic balancer. Seriously, game, come on. Okay, you changed my camera angle against my will and you won't let me move it. Put this timing cover on, and then I'll go ahead and go to the shop real quick. Also, gonna have to pick up a water pump. And a crank pulley, so let's do that. We could probably do a performance water pump. Uh, we should actually check to see if they have a performance water pump. I don't know if they do or not. Nope, we don't have performance water pumps. Okay. Uh, we need a V8 water pump. And do we have a supercharger water pump pulley? I'm going to say no. I'm just going to go and throw a regular water pump pulley on there. And then we need a crankshaft pulley. V8. Get all these idler rollers put on. Get the water pump thrown in here too real quick. Yep, I bet correctly, just a generic water pump pulley. And I did guess correctly on the supercharger serpentine belt. We're also going to need another uh, belt. I forget what the name of it is going to be. Okay, just a regular V8A belt. Okay. Just going to put V8 belt in there. Uh, V8. And then we're also going to need some valve covers. So let's just put, I think it's engine head cover. That's what they call it in this game. So we need an A and a B for a V8. Um, it's going to be red. I know that. Or orange or whatever color it is. There's our second idler A. Yep. All right. So the front end is done. Let's go and get these head covers on. Did I buy the wrong head covers? Uh, no. Did I buy the, seriously? Did I buy the wrong head covers? Or did I just oh, I see what I did. Okay. Yeah, I bought the wrong head cover. See, look at that. Like, why can't you just put these two together? Like, seriously. Makes absolutely no sense why the V8 head covers are that far spread apart. Let's go and throw our ignition coils. We need coil covers as well. So I'll pick those up in just a second. I'm going to just nail this down right here. Well, I thought it was going to go all four of them, but oh well. Alright, coil covers and a throttle V8. Royal. Uh, throttle V8 is going to be right here. Okay, I believe that is going to be uh, this engine build. Except for this one coil cover over here. Okay, I believe that our engine is built. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, put oil in it. No, we can't. We have to have the engine in the vehicle to do that. But yeah, here's our engine. It's built. It looks absolutely amazing. Let me go ahead and save my game real quick. Oh.
Well, I did not intend to exit to the menu, so here we are back in the game. I saved so I don't have to do anything, but let's go ahead and get the engine put back in the vehicle. And we'll put oil in it. Let's go ahead and remove this bad boy. Install. Fully built. Performance engine. Move equipment back. Let's go ahead and check the vehicle's value. Holy mother of... Holy cow. $279,000 value just for doing the engine. I did spend like 60,000 bucks at the junkyard on this if I remember correctly. But there's our engine. It is complete. We've got four batteries. Dang, that is insane. Alright, let's get started on the suspension. We're going to go ahead and knock the, uh, the front suspension out real quick. Let's go ahead and get the rim off. Got to get these behemoth tires uh, replaced. Get that done here in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and work with the suspension. Tires will be the last thing we do. Obviously, we have drum brakes. Probably four-wheel drum, if I had to guess. We got shock absorber bees. Let me go ahead and throw those on there just so I know. Or not part mount, sorry. Parts notes. Let me go ahead and throw those on there so I know what kind of uh, shock absorbers we're working with. And this thing is like, what do I have to remove to get this off? Uh oh, E-ring. Or just ring, I guess. Yeah, this thing is like a rear suspension pretty much all the way around. Heavy duty suspension. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this front suspension taken apart and get it all repaired and then I will uh, catch you guys here in just a few seconds. Alright, we just finished repairing the uh, front suspension components that were repairable. Surprisingly, everything that was repairable we managed to repair. So we're gonna go ahead and get over here on the uh, <laughs> the wheel removal tool or a tire remover. And we're gonna go ahead and get these tires and rims done. These tires are absolutely insane. See if we can repair our rims. It'll save us a little bit of time if we can. Look at that. We were able to repair that one. And let's see if we can repair this one. Fantastic. We repaired them. All right. Let's go to the shop here. Uh, figure out what, first and foremost, figure out what kind of uh, tire we need. We're going to need off road tire B's 515 60 24. We need width 515, 60, 24. We're going to need two of them. That is going to be a big ass tire. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, that wheel's on the balancer. <laughs> the, <laughs> the balancer doesn't even work. That's great. Balancer doesn't even fit with it. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and sell parts that are under 100%, so like 57%. Uh, we can sell... Oh, I put a regular... Dang it, I put a regular camshaft in. Oh, well, I'm not going digging back into that engine just to replace the camshaft. Uh, yeah, we put that factory cam we re repaired. So, um, let's go ahead and... We don't have any more work to do up front. We just have to start installing stuff. So once this tire is balanced... I will get to uh, reassembling the front suspension, which will be right now. All right, let's see what we repaired and what we didn't repair. Obviously, going to need tie rods and the shock absorbers, so let me go ahead and buy those real quick. Inner tie rod, outer tie rods. I believe it was shock absorber B's times two. Uh, we're also going to need some bushings for the uh, leaf springs, which we managed to repair one of the leaf springs, so we're going to need to buy another one. I'm just going to bounce in and out of the shop here. 
as I did not uh, take the time to put every component that it was bad uh, back in to my shopping list, so. But like I said a few minutes ago, I managed to repair a lot of the components that came off. So I shouldn't have to jump to the shop too frequently. Uh, let's see, how do we do for the axles? Yeah, heck, we repaired a lot of stuff. Holy cow. What about leaf spring plates? And bolts, how about that? <laughs> we don't have to go to the shop for any of that. That's a first right there, folks. Let me come over here and start working on this side. Get these bushings installed. And I do believe we need a front steering knuckle E ring, so I'm just going to type in ring. By that, uh, what else do we need? I can't think of anything else right now. Alright, uh, drum wheel cylinders. We're gonna need one of those, and then obviously brake shoes and... Uh... Drums. So let's go and get two drums. We're gonna need a cylinder. Uh, let me check to see if we managed to repair brake shoes. We did. I had a feeling that we had managed to repair the brake shoes, so... Kind of glad that I didn't buy those. All right, so we got that side done. Let's come over here. We just have a little bit more assembly to do over here. It's not much at all. Let me go ahead and get all the rest of this suspension stuff done before I put that uh, brake drum on because I don't want to have a big giant wheel in my face. Woo, at least bring you bolt. And I believe that is going to be it. Other than the uh, front drive shaft, which I believe we're going to have to replace. get out of my face. Let's get this tire put on so I can get out of my face here. There goes my star pattern. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do we have to buy a new drive shaft? Yes, we do. What is it going to be? It's going to be a drive shaft F. Front drive. Front drive shaft F. Drive shaft F. Can't spell. Uh, I love it how I specifically put drive shaft F in and it gives me like every drive shaft. That's just not legit at all. Okay, so that is done there. Uh, let's go and get this other tire on. There's our star pattern for the win. Alright, front end is done. There it is. Looks really good. I cannot wait to get the, the body style in here. Let me just do a little bit of a... Uh, Sneak peeking. Oh, we really don't have a lot of uh, exterior work to do. There's just a couple things. But uh, that is going to be it for the front. Let's go ahead and start on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and cut through all this. And I'll catch you guys when I start reassembly. All right. So we just finished up the uh, disassembly of the rear. And we repaired as much as we could. Go ahead and start throwing parts back in and see what we have to replace uh, what we don't. Which we repaired all everything that was repairable again just our luck this one time we've managed to do that except oh, except for that uh, lease room plate we're gonna need a lease room plate and three u-bolts and also pick up the rear shocks as well so we need a leaf spring plate three u-bolts we're gonna need some bushings for those control arm things uh, we're gonna need rear shock absorber bees Uh, we're also going to need fuel tanks. Another thing, I need to figure out how many fuel pumps we need. I think we might need three. Let me go ahead and find out real quick. <laughs> we're going to need three fuel pumps. Yep. Alright, so the reason why I'm putting stock fuel pumps in uh, is very simply because uh, I don't want to over load this thing with performance parts. So that's why I'm putting factory fuel pumps in. I think a majority of the remaining parts you have to put in. Yeah, obviously we got to replace the spring. I got ahead of myself there. 
Um, we have to obviously do springs and spring caps. So let me go ahead and get those real quick. But other than that, I think we have everything else needed. And let me go ahead and grab brakes while I'm here. We're going to need... Uh, it's not ventilated brakes. It's regular brakes times two. We need brake pads. I think we managed to repair the calipers. Uh, probably going to have to buy some though. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Let's go ahead and get these leaf spring plates done. Get this side done, and we are going to also have to do tires and wheels for this side as well, or for the rear, I should say. So we got brake discs, <clears throat> brake pads. Here is when we find out about brake calipers. We're going to need a brake caliper. All right, let's go pick up that brake caliper real quick, <clears throat> which we already here in the brake shop, so we don't have to do anything. And I need to jump out of here because I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, we finished that side, so it's going to be this side here. And we just have, I believe, one U-bolts over here. A bushing. And then it is going to be brakes. And then we need to go and do wheels and tires. Go ahead and clean out the inventory of anything we don't need. Obviously, we need the drive shaft. But we're going to go and sell anything below 15%. Yeah, let's go and bump that up to uh, 54%. And that rim basic 01. Let's go ahead and uh, go buy one. It's going to be rim basic 01 24 inch. Because we can't repair it. So let's see if we can repair our other one. Yes, we can. All right. Tires. Let me remind myself about our size. 515, 60, 24. And let's get these suckers installed. Look at that gap between the wheel balancer and the tire remover. <laughs> That's insane. All right, while well, this one's balancing, we'll go ahead and throw this one on the vehicle. Any day now, Mr. Wheelmaster. All right, that is the rear suspension. Let's go ahead and drop this thing down to the ground. Um, all we have to do, that looks like a very rusty part. Let me see if we can figure out if that can be removed. Yes, it can. I just brought this up off the ground. I guess it was already on the ground. Unless that is as low as it can go. Uh, we need to do some... Yeah, these fenders are bad. So the next thing is bodywork. Let's see if we can actually repair these fenders. Look at that. We can actually repair the fenders. We were, made, we were able to repair both of them. That is awesome. So we'll go into assemble mode here and we'll throw our fenders back on. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our body work done here. So I need to go to the shop. And it is going to be in the community cars body shop. And we're just going to type in wart hog. And just buy one of everything. We, are, we don't need the fenders. That's the one thing we don't need to buy. Hood, headlights, taillights, bumper, all that good stuff. Let's get it. There we go. That is everything we need. Let's go ahead and start assembly here. Got a nice winch on the front end. Looks absolutely stunning. Got to go back to assemble mode here. Where is the headlights is what I want to know. Oh, right here. Here we go. I don't think this thing has... Uh... How do I access the headlight? Oh, there was already a headlight on there. That's why. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we got the lights done. Uh, we got to go to the back here and do the tail lights, And then we just need to do interior. 
after this. Where's our tail? It's going to be right there. Right where you'd expect him to be. And we have a right tail light on there already, so. Okay, that is all the uh, exterior work. Let's go ahead and shut the hood. It's absolutely amazing. This thing's going to be so much fun on the off-road track. We're going to have a blast with this thing. All right, we need to go to interior disassembly and then interior assembly. I need to figure out, actually, uh, what seats we need here. It just wants uh, seats for rear bumper. Why is it saying 16% on the rear bumper? We're going to have to go check that out. Oh, it's probably because I haven't replaced it yet. Um, seat 4 leather D and steering wheel 7, so we're going to go and do that. Get that picked up at the shop. Seats for leather D. And then steering wheel 7 is the one that it had on there. It's just going to be fun to finding that. There it is, steering wheel 7. We also have to do the transmission. I completely forgot about that. That is why it's saying our rear bumper is 16%. Because it's another part that I was not able to... Uh, pull off at the very beginning. So there's the rear bumper. That's done. Let's go ahead and go into our interior assembly mode here. This is going to be really finicky. I'm going to have to do this ever so carefully to not get it to jump in and out of the screen here. So perfect. And there it is. It is complete from that standpoint. Let's go ahead and jump in the engine bay here. And we got to put some oil in this real quick. The amount of power this thing is going to be putting out, definitely need to make sure this thing's oiled. Imagine if you're doing the uh, final level in Halo 3 with this thing, and your engine doesn't have any oil in it, and it seizes up, and you get killed. Alright, that is going to be it for that. We need to get this thing back up on the lift. I need to pick up a transmission. Uh, I also need to pick up a uh, starter as well. Starter slash uh, regular gearbox. I believe it's going to be a V8. I don't think there's a supercharger version, so we're just going to go with a regular V8. Probably wrong, though. Uh, we, did we buy a new clutch release bearing? No, we did not. So we're going to have to pick that up real quick as well. Yep, regular gearbox V8. Good. And as soon as we get this complete, I will check and see how much money we will make by selling it. Uh, which I probably should have looked when I was checking for parts, but I didn't think of it. I believe this thing is now done. Let's Again, let's check the car status. $475,000. $95,000 restoration bonus on this thing. Let's go ahead and go down our list. Obviously, anything that's not replaced will be down here. So we got no license plates on this thing. Which I don't even know where you'd put license plates on it. But uh, yeah, that is going to be the uh, the restoration. We are done with this car. Uh, last thing we need to do is we need to take it to the paint shop and paint it up. I don't even think this thing's going to fit in there. This is probably going to be completely unlegitimate. So let's go ahead and uh, try to figure out how to move the car again. Let's move it to the paint shop. And surprisingly, this thing actually fits. Wow. Antenna just barely, look at that, just, I would say there's like an inch or two of room up there from that antenna to the roof. We're going to jump in the paint shop here and see what options we have for painting. We do have liveries. All right, we do have liveries. Sweet. We're going to go with a livery paint. So we're going to go, obviously, livery one. That looks the closest uh, to the actual warthog. And it's going to paint it black, but I... Yeah, whatever. All right, there's our livery. Let's go and move this thing back out to the garage entrance, and we'll get in and start it up. Here is the warthog. It's done. Let's go and jump in here. Here's our interior. It looks really beautiful. I actually have a lot more headroom in here to move around and look. We don't have to look at a back seat. Let's go and start this thing up. Awesome. Sounds good. There's our, I guess, our tachometer up there. Or something like that. No, that's, yeah, yeah, that's our tachometer. No, that's our speedometer. 
kilometers per hour. I don't even know where the tack would be on this thing. Anyway, you can I, <laughs> look at the you can see the transmission, you see the gearbox uh, from in here. So anyway, let's go and take this thing out to the off-road track and let's see what this thing can do. Okay, we are here at the uh, track. We're gonna go ahead and change our camera angle to uh, third person. We can actually have some free camera rotation. Here is the Warthog. We are about to take this thing on the most epic journey of all time here in this very small enclosed area. So obviously we're gonna drive around at just about every obstacle, even the ones that aren't actually obstacles. Like we'll go up that hill, we'll drive around. We're just gonna go crazy with this thing. So look at all the uh, extra gas tanks we have on the back there. That is insane. All right, let's go ahead and drive this thing around. Oh, this thing's got a lot of power. Oh yeah. Oh, this thing is great. Oh, we're gonna flip it. Oh, this thing's got a ton of power. We're gonna have to do a dyno. We'll do that as well. When we get back. Obviously, we have the power to get up here. King of the hill. Look at that. That is awesome. Hey, and here we go. Full, full throttle down the hill here. Oh, yeah. This thing's got so much power. Good traction, too. Oh, <laughs> over these rocks. Don't have the best traction. Oh, I take that back. We have the best traction ever. We can go up on barrels. All right, so let's see if we can do some burnouts. They're not burnouts. Donuts. Not the best at doing donuts, but uh, let's get some air here. This thing can deal with just about any obstacle I throw at it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't I don't actually think you can flip this thing. I don't think it's possible. Cuz I would have flipped it right there. Yeah, rocks, get out of my way. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and try to go up that end of the uh This in here. We've never been able to do it going up this way with any vehicle. This one I have no no doubts we'll be able to do it. Oh no, we're just gonna go off the side here. Yep, I don't think you can actually flip vehicles in this. Let's give it another shot here. Oh, we made it. <laughs> oh, this thing is epic. <laughs> Alright, I think we've had our fun here. I'm gonna go and head back to the uh, the garage. This thing is absolutely insane. I love this thing. Alright, we are back here in the garage. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on the dyno real quick. I'm a little interested to see the kind of horsepower we're making, so we're gonna go and throw it in there. So our, I believe our factory was like just over a thousand horsepower, but we have a bunch of performance parts in there, so we're gonna see how much gain we get. And I gotta come all the way around over here to access the dyno computer here. All right, so uh, factory engine power, we're looking at 1,058, and we're looking at almost 1,000 pound-feet of torque. So let's go and run our dyno. Okay, so we made a heck of a lot more horsepower I thought we were going to make. We're looking at 1791 horsepower and 1600 pound-feet of torque. That is absolutely awesome. I love this thing. This thing is absolutely amazing. This is the first time in this game that I've actually had fun going to the off-road track because this thing just literally takes everything and eats it. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back to the uh, garage entrance and we are going to conclude our video over there. Alrighty guys, that is going to conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment and consider subscribing to my channel. I have to say this was probably the most fun I've had on any video that I've done in this game. Uh, this was the first time, like I said back in the dining room, this is the first time I've actually enjoyed taking a vehicle to the off-road track. 
Uh, just because this thing literally just took everything and ate it, so I didn't have any problems. Uh, realistically, I should have flipped it about 10 times or so, but, uh, yeah, this thing was awesome. I loved it. So, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video. Take care.